Brian. I'm j -Bo. I'm hungover. I'm Blake. And welcome to another episode of Bad Tree Productions. Today, we're going to show you some daily driver stuff. We don't always work on old clapped out junk. Sometimes we work on newer clapped out junk. Right on. So this is kind of a, uh, oh, I don't know, I guess a daily driver vehicle of some sort. It's an 05 PT Cruiser. Uh, it's a convertible. Uh, we're currently, we're having an issue with the top going up and down the motor. The, it's the, the hydraulic motor or whatever, or pump or whatever. It, um, it sounds okay, but it sounds like there's air in the system or whatever, so oh, we don't drive this car that much, so it kind of sets quite a bit. So I'm going to show you um, the symptoms, I guess we can do that, and then uh, we'll dig into where the, the hydraulic pump is and how you can add more fluid to it. And in the case of fluid, we're just going to put a, a automatic transmission fluid in it. So if that's incorrect, go ahead and comment below, whatever. So, okay. All right, we'll get to it. What's turbo mean? Well, this version comes with a 2.4, it's a turbo. They made two different turbo versions. Uh, this is the 180 horse, kind of the base turbo model. They do make a, a GT version, I believe that has 230 horse. It's kind of similar to the SRT Ford Dodge Neon mm. engine, It'd be the same thing. So what's, all you need to do is put a different computer in this then, or? <coughs> I believe so. Is yeah, you, if you could difference? find, if you found a, like a, an 05 uh, GT computer automatic, automatic transmission, you should be able to get that extra 50 horse out of it, I believe. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, check it out on the forum zone. Just don't take my word for it. But anyway. So it's an SRT4, so. Someone, yeah. You know, if you put a different computer in this, could it be out of the realm of possibilities to be blistering down the quarter mile at a 14 to high 13 second clip with the top down maybe perhaps i don't know huh let's have a go at it should we no that'd be kind of fun no this ain't sold so, is it yeah oh no shit right right when so. did you sell it well, about four days ago i think really yeah cool so anyway it's on its way out but i want to make sure this works well dang it what were you in the market for convertible <laughs> no yeah okay all right all right, uh, we're getting after it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, put the uh, put put your back seats down. Pull your back seats down. There's a couple of pull pull tabs on, in the trunk. You can just pull it, and then these seats here come down. Um, this is kind of hard to see back here, but but um, there's this pin. What I did first was I, I removed these two these two bolts here to take this headrest off. But as you can see, it seems like it's still kind of solidly stuck into place. There might be other screws on the back or whatever, but it's not a big deal. But anyway, then you, uh, what I did was, uh, let's go outside here, buddy. Um, mm -hmm. There's this little uh, piece of trim. It's on the back side of the headrest and it's held in with Christmas pins. Okay, so I just grabbed my tool and I, I pried these all out. Okay, so once I did that, you gave me access to the speaker shelf, this piece of speaker shelf uh, um, material, and there's some Velcro on the sides. So you can peel this up and you may not be able to see it. Where's my light at, Blake? So once this is peeled up, you remove this little piece of uh, this pillow foam or whatever. And this basically, um, I think it insulates it from the noise because it's probably pretty loud without this. Mm. So this just sits in there. Well, it says front. Mm-hmm. So it was probably like this. So I just pulled this out, and then that exposes the pump, which is right here. And as we can see right away, this little um, uh, reservoir should actually have some red fluid in it. So and as you can see, it's 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 empty. Mm. Unless we uh, unless we toggle uh, open the top or whatever, and it it fills up, but I don't think it will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this plug here and then uh, get a syringe with uh, some ATF and then fill, fill, it, fill it in here. So it'll be uh, kind of a slow process, but it should fill up. It should be good to go then. So anyway, being that it's empty, there's probably a, there could be a, an, an issue with a leaking or I don't know what. But 
probably real slowly. I don't see any uh, leakage here at all. Mm -hmm. So anyway, all right. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, geez, get back with you later. <sighs> Like, I mean, you can you can tell that the pump is the motor is working, but it's just really kind of groaning and it's really struggling to to move up or down. So, and we can we can tell by the by the res reservoir. The reservoir is kind of translucent. You should actually be able to see the red transmission fluid that's in it or the hydraulic fluid that's in it. So. Some big ass doors on this car. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get a syringe or whatever out of my uh from your heroin kit? No, out of my <laughs> uh, out of my fill up my uh ink cartridge oh, kit oh, okay. for printers and so on and so That's forth. That's just an expensive habit. I know. That's the flavor that we're gonna use. There was three flavors to choose from. Super Tech, ATF plus four, and Valvoline, ATF plus four. We're going with the Shitco ATF Dextron. Ooh. Is there a in the smells like the 90s. That transmission fluid smells like my childhood. Does it? I wonder why. The 90s. Yeah, this is definitely not the way to go, but it's all we got. So it's, it's, it's it, the syringe is too small. I mean, so you're going to be unlike ink. Ink will just flow right out of this thing. Transmission fluid has a higher viscosity or whatever compared to water. So, so you really got to kind of bear down on this to get Don't you off like a turkey baster. Turkey baster? Yeah, I mean maybe, but but I gotta you got to get in at kind of an angle, I guess, on this. So. So this might this might work better than a turkey baster, but we'll see. All right, so let's try it out, man. Oh my God, what am I doing? Hold it where I want it, Blake. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there, that's full. So I don't know, five to ten of these probably. How many CCs is that, doctor? Mm, I have no idea. I'm not of the metric system. Oh, there it is. It was that one. Okay, so let's get a size on this. Okay, and it's uh, four, four millimeters. Oh no. Okay, I got it. All right. Oh my God. Wow, that sucker is tight. Did you hear that? We don't want any debris going in there. Where's that trowel at, bud? Hand me here. I got it. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, there's crap falling off this wrench, too. I'm going to take the wrench out. Okay, here's your plug. Looks like that. See it? Set right here. All right, syringe. Mm, from what I gather, it goes in kind of over in this general geritol direction. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna. Wow. You know, actually. This is gonna take too damn long. I don't even know what's going on in the reservoir. No, it's not. So. It's actually going down though. Okay, well, I'll we'll just keep putting some in it. I'm just kind of guessing that the camera mm -hmm. is. Okay. What's going on? Oh. All right, so I got one, uh, yeah. 
10 cc's in it. <laughs> Damn it. And I don't see, I don't see uh, that jug being full. But anyway, I'm gonna fill her up again, dude. Okay. They go up. Okay, go up, or mean down, whatever. Okay, so you're down, right, bud? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm gonna fill it a bit here. Damn it. Okay, it's kind of bleeding itself. Like, you know, you can see bubbles coming out of it and shit. About the only time I can really feel it is when it's in the down position. It's kind of done a cycle like in a way. Yeah. So I'm sticking a little bit in it, you know, every time you do that. The reservoir now is about half, about half full. I don't know if you can see that, but that light might be screwing it up. But you can see the level is right about here. Or you can't see my can you see my pointer? Yeah, it's right there. So we're getting some in it, you know. Uh do you notice a any difference in how it's functioning at all or seems like going up a little bit easier yeah uh, it's like it can't hold itself up it's just mm -hmm. yeah. sure here you go up bud <laughs> up okay good just tap it oh okay screw in the back you can uh you got a heater it's right here all right so you go counterclockwise and that releases the the hydraulic or it releases the hydraulics i guess in a way so i'm just kind of wondering if we uh loosen that screw until it, it just hits a stop and if we just work it back and forth, maybe we can kind of bleed the system. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know, Blake. Mm -hmm. But okay. we're going to try it. So here. Yep. All right. So we'll do it a couple times. So then let's see if we can get some more <coughs> fluid in it. So it, is, it just operates just like a manual top now. I mean, somewhat. So without without uh, fighting against the hydraulics of it. So. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's pretty fast. Better, isn't it? Yeah. Now if it goes back on its own. Holy shit. That's kind of nice, huh? Yeah. I think you got it, Jay. All right. Well, I'm gonna, that's a lot better. That's kind of the way it always used to be. Yeah. So I'm going to go back there and check the reservoir and see if I can get some more in it. All right. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this now. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it probably would have eventually bled itself, probably, but it probably would have taken a long time. Right. So that kind of that little that little tech tip really helped out, didn't it, Blake? Nice mm -hmm. tech tip, mm -hmm. Jay Ball. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see here. Come on, baby, take some fluid. Two dudes, right? In a PT cruiser. That's not weird, is it? No. I did it back in 06 with Troy down oh. Fort Myers, Florida, down Martin Luther King Boulevard. Oh my God! Listening to N Sync. Damn right. Whatever that means. Here, put these in the glove box. Wait there, dude. Ooh. Oh. All right. Ooh, oh no, was that a raindrop, Blake? Oh, was 
it? I don't know. I, I'm not I sure. think it might be Jay. Oh, here. Let's better put, put the, the top, top up. Oh. Alright, wow. that was pretty good. Yeah. Wait a minute, it's okay now? Okay. Yeah, the beer cloud's passed. Okay, here we go. We're putting the top down. Yep. Well, that worked out pretty damn good, didn't it? It sure did, j -Bo. I like it. <clears throat> mm hmm So what the hell, total cost in our repair was about, oh, I'd say 25 cents in transmission fluid. <laughs> And some simple hand tools. Right. Five millimeter uh, Allen wrench. Was it five or four? Oh, was it four? I don't know. Go back to the front of this and find out. And then a straight screwdriver. Yep. So the straight screwdriver actually disables the hydraulics, I guess, so that you can manually lift the, pull the top down or lift it up. So otherwise, you could probably do it yourself, you know, with it not loose, but it would be hard to be fighting against the hydraulics. But if you were not fighting against against the hydraulics, and you know you know that you have a hydraulic pump pump issue, it's blown past the seals. So in our case, I think everything's good. It just needs a little fluid, and we just added what we just added maybe what six six ten cc. Is it called units? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, I I would say yes. Okay, so that's what we added. So that was what sixty. 60 cc's of uh, automatic transmission fluid. One, it wasn't very much, but it it filled the reservoir up. I say I'd say three quarters of the way full. So maybe you want a little bit of room in there for air. Doesn't that make sense? I don't yeah. know. So anyway, here we are. Yeah. Oh wait, what? What, what was that thunder? I think so. I heard it. Oh my god. You better pull over so we can Let's put pull over someplace. This guy's got a deer in the back of his truck. Jeez, I really feel the turbo kicking in. Right, it really is spooling, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. This is a brand new road. Mm. Oh, let's put the top up now, right in front of Laz's place. Whoops, whoops. Oh, Whose oh. place? Laz. Right here, this house? Where he lives, yeah. That used to be some crazy cat lady lived there, I thought. Mm -hmm. Now some crazy Lazlo lives there? Yeah. Huh. So now some crazy gerbil dude lives there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the the top worked again. Oh, that's disaster averted. And here we go. Oh, it, you're going too fast. It won't operate. Oh, that's right. I better stop. There we go. Just a safety feature built into the PT Cruiser. Yep. Here we go. That's kind of a pretty little view drive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Let's enjoy this win with the... Nice little drive off the scenic hill. Yep. This is the McGregor Heights. Mm-hmm. A lot of neat cabins up here and so on and so forth. It's pretty. Look up the hillside there. Look at all the rock formations. Ooh. That's right, folks. We're in Iowa. <laughs> well, bet you never thought. Not super flat here. No. Hard to go grow, grow corn on the hillside, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, right? You oh. bet. Sure. Why not? Coming down this hill as a kid on your bicycle is always kind of kind of fun, right? Dangerous. Scary, right? You go exactly. flying off into that wooded area there. You never did that, did you? No, I never did. I was always on the brakes too hard. <laughs> so there we go. She's ready to sell now. I feel a lot better about that. So mm -hmm. hopefully it lasts a while. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice shape. It's got sixty-six thousand original miles on it. Pretty clean for an old five. I mean, it's really very clean. Right. It drives and runs. AC works. Heat works. I like driving with the top down and the AC on if it's really hot out. You know, screw screw mileage. Who cares? Right. I mean, it's just like when you're driving in the fall time and it's like a little cool. Drive with the top down with the heat on. That's exhilarating. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's down there? I don't know. Probably the Mississippi. The McGregor River. Yeah. It's a nice little cabin right there, huh? Nice, nice. Ooh, look at this little cabin over here. Look at that one. Oh, that's great. I haven't seen that before. That's kind of new, isn't it? This one's relatively new. Yeah. Did you 
see that? Little freak. Maybe. What do we got here? The McGregor River? No. You want it. This will be the thumbnail up here with the top down. You go grab yourself a sandwich, a rag, wipe your hands free of all that tranny fluid, and come sit up here on the bench and look out at the Mississippi River. I'm trying not to pay attention to that land form over there, that land mass over there. That's that's Wisconsin. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh it's mm. comfy. Oh, not bad, huh? No. Oh, look out for that. Ouch. Oh, oh, this is nice. Ah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Beautiful nice day. View. If I was a tailless squirrel, right? I would live in that knot in the tree right there. Really, that's a big kind of <coughs> hole in the tree. Yeah. What's that noise over there? They got kill dozers and stuff over on the island. They're building up riffraff and yeah. I don't know, some about turtle habitat. Oh. Every time I'm on the river, I see about 10,000 turtles. Right, like it's not a big deal, huh? Right, it's about the same as bullfrogs. So, I don't know, maybe we do, I don't know. I don't think we got a problem with lack of turtles. No, doesn't seem like it. I don't see many tortoises, though, in Iowa. What's the difference? Tortoises are a land burrowing creature. Yeah. Turtles are amphibious aqua oh. lovers. Okay. Kind of like a toad and a frog. What a beautiful day. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, good, bad, ugly. Anyway, that's how we spend our day. Not really. That's how we spend about an hour of our day. So we're mm. back to more, more important stuff. All right? Yep. All righty. Later. Thank <laughs> you.